the chaos that comes with gunfire and fighting to control a vital transport hub. Not much of a welcome for those arriving at Aden's international airport. President Hadi's forces repelled an assault by those loyal to his predecessor and the country's Houthi rebels. A serious escalation of Yemen's political crisis was to follow. Well, around uh, 1530 local time, we heard the first fighter jet over, the, uh, over Aden. And then we heard the loud bang and anti-aircraft guns firing off from the presidential palace. Some witnesses saw smoke coming out of the building. The president's officials say he is safe. His office issued this picture of him meeting local politicians at the Aden Palace. He described the attacks as an attempted coup. The accused Houthis are Shia, whose heartland is the northern province of Sadar. As the Arab Spring took hold, they seized control of neighbouring Amran province. That helped them take control of the capital, Sana'a, in January, which led President Hadi to flee to Aden. The instability in Yemen is of concern to the rest of the world because the country is home to Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. With attention focused on internal struggles, there's concern they'll be able to take the chance to launch attacks on foreign targets. The Houthis' grievances are economic and religious. This latest fighting, a signal they don't want President Hadi trying to consolidate power in his new base in the south. It means more unrest is almost certain in this deeply troubled and fractured country. Jonathan Joseph, 